Grandmother, are you sure that I can't drive you to the airport? That's sweet of you, honey. But I have a driver, and I will be busy with mayoral business right up until I get there. Is that all you're taking to Chechnya? I used to travel quite a bit, and I got pretty good at packing light. I, I don't want to sound too repetitive, but I do think that this trip is too risky. Uh, Spencer's right. Besides, we need you here. I understand your concern, um, and I have arranged for some backup for the two of you uh, while Kevin and I are what out of town. What kind of backup? You'll see, but I feel uh, quite confident that the two of you will be able to come together and work out your relationship for Ace's sake. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tired. Ace was up half the night. Yeah, he'd settle down or seem to, and then five minutes later, he would be crying again. And you both got up with him? Why not trade off? I see, because neither one of you trusted the other to take care of Ace. I need more coffee. Esme, we've talked about this. I know. You don't have to do absolutely everything for Ace. Look, I just understand what Ace needs better than Spencer does. <sighs> well, good for you. Now, let Spencer figure it out so you can get some sleep. Spencer is very good with Ace. You're not wrong. I think that if you could bend just a little, Spencer would meet you halfway. And there she is. Good morning. Beautiful, beautiful day. Morning. Sister, how are you? Nice huh? I'm good. Very good. Oh, hi, Lucy. Wow, what a surprise. Come on in. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, I hope this isn't an imposition. Um, Marty told me you were heading to Russia today. And we're here to see you. So how long is the flight to Russia? <laughs> Keep it oh, my oh Martin, Lucy, what oh. brings poor Charles' most vivacious couple by? Uh, well, your uncle Marty here is the backup that I was telling you about. Uh, just, you know, here to help out while Kevin and Laura are away yeah. in Russia, you know, where Americans are advised to leave. Well, that's fantastic. We could certainly use all the help we can get. How are you with changing diapers? I'll be acting in a strictly advisory capacity <laughs> in that regard. You know, someone to call in the middle of the night should trouble arise. Uh, yeah, and, oh, and you know what? Um, you can count on me. I mean, although I'm not officially a member of the family, I'm a phone call away anytime, promise. That's great. Martin, I am curious. Uh, have you held a baby before? Spencer, don't be rude. Martin happens to have many, many, many hidden talents. In fact, you may think he would know nothing about skincare, but he was instrumental oh, in the conception now, now of the new deception product. Thank you, you, were, thank but you, my you little well, I appreciate it. Your unwarranted, uh, unwavering support. Listen, I don't see Kevin. Where is my newly minted brother-in-law? He's at the hospital wrapping a few things up. He will meet me at the airport. Ah, so that means you two really will be all by your lonesome. Does that, you know, caring for a baby bring you together um we both love ace and that is the most important thing right spencer that's right russia chechnya i know the situation is volatile there oh well okay hey. i do but kevin's gonna be there Oh. Valentine will be there. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, if Kevin can't make the Russians feel better about themselves, I'm sure Valentine could arrange for a group of mercenaries to exfiltrate you. Marty, you're an optimist after all. What can I say? You bring out the hopeful. Just do me a favor. You know, take care of yourself. I mean, a baby sister. Be careful. I will. You come home to us. <laughs> <laughs> 